what an incredibly broad subject science is. And we all know how diverse and dynamic the Northern Territory is. So can you imagine the exciting science stories right here in our own backyards? Guys, there's a group based right here in Down that's developing technology to help make alternative energy more reliable. Sustainable green energy is a huge issue around the world, so we visit a local company that's world class. Check it out! Have you ever looked up at a windmill and wondered what happens when the wind stops blowing? Wind farms are starting to pop up all around the country, providing an alternative source of power to many communities. So if you're relying on wind power for electricity, what happens when you run out of wind? Power fluctuation is a common problem in isolated and remote area power supplies. But one Darwin company has developed world first technology to help solve a real problem in remote area and wind power sectors. Power store technology is a, um, a method we use to store energy and it's particularly useful in power systems. Well, the output from wind farms can be quite variable with wind gusts and so on. So storing energy um, to use during those wind gusts or after them is uh, how we can use it. Power Store was developed by Power Corp, a Darwin company which was formed in 1988 to help automate the wide variety of diesel generator power stations in Northern Australia. Power Store is now installed at several wind and diesel generation sites, both locally and around the world. It's designed to absorb and source energy at exceptionally high speed to smooth all generation fluctuations and maintain quality electrical supply. These power fluctuations can be quite severe. Sometimes they have to run extra engines just to cover the renewable energy and that's something we really don't want to do. We want to get all of our energy from the renewables. So including power store can enable us to maximise the renewable energy and minimise the conventional energy. PowerCorp is now supplying power solutions in over 60 communities and is working with wind technology in places as far away as Antarctica and Alaska. So there you go guys, a successful local company gaining worldwide attention for its work to integrate renewable energy. There sure is some interesting science going on in the territory. Thanks Jazzy, that's a local company on the cutting edge, very cool. Talking about cutting edge. How was it sending the call out to the sewer busters? Yes. Crocodiles, ninja turtles, you'd be amazed with working in Darwin's sewer system. It's a little known fact that deep underneath Darwin there's a huge network of sewers and drains. There's even been rumours about crocodiles and the odd ninja turtle. This afternoon I'm catching up with the sewer busters from Power and Water to help unclog the drains for the wet season. It's a dirty and a dangerous job, but someone has got to do it. Hello. Hello, Nicole. Got all my gear on? We going down? Uh, I don't think so. What's oh. say we just send the camera down. There's yeah. all sorts of nasty things down there. We have a camera. Power and Water has more than 10,000 kilometres of sewer pipes buried up to six metres underground. But rather than sending their crews down to inspect the state of the pipes and face the Ninja Turtles, Power Mortar uses the latest in closed circuit television technology. We put the camera in here, we get a large network of sewer lines that you see here on our uh, maps. We get called out to one area. Yep. That's where we have problems there. We put the camera down and uh, find out what's causing the problem in the area. The closed circuit camera technology is crucial in determining the state of the pipes in Darwin and Catherine to help minimise flooding during the wet season. There's roots there, so obviously we're going to have to um, sort that problem out. If you have a look at this one, this is coming upstream onto a, a blockage. You can see beer cans and different type of debris in the line there. Upstream of that is absolutely, totally blocked. While regular descaling is done through access chambers, the closed circuit camera enables operators to pinpoint the exact position of potential problems without having to create a major excavation to locate it. Quite a range of things that we find in our sewer pipes, from snakes to, to guanas. So lizards. those rumours about the crocodiles, are they true? Oh, this one come out of there. <laughs> really? I free the makers. Oh, I'm 
glad I didn't have to go down there. You got that right. Thanks, Nicole. How about that dog? He was rescued, you know. Up after the break, I'm going to be meeting some very unusual little locals. And we check out some serious survival techniques. It's all next in The Lab.